Hi, my name is Ben, and I will show you today how to set up a connection between a WAM700 access point and a WUM700 client module. Make sure that DHCP or DCP is activated on the devices. The IP address can be set up through Senec PNI, Pronetta, or a DHCP server. This tutorial assumes that the IP address is already set and the PC, the access point and the client module are in the same subnet. Advanced adjustments such as security settings, signal strength, channels used or SSID are not shown here. However, these are essential for the secure and stable operation of a wireless network. I will now show you how to configure the access point WAM. Enter the IP address of the access point into your web browser. There, you will have to accept your browser security pop-up. Put in the default username and password. For the so-called EU version of the devices, both username and password are set as the word admin, both in lowercase. Change the password to a secure phrase. We also recommend changing the username. Navigate to the category Interfaces, WLAN, then move to the tab Antennas and Power. Insert the type of antennas you are using as well as their load impedance. You can confirm your input with a click on Set Values. Then navigate to the tab Basic. Choose the correct country code and activate the checkbox Enabled for Wireless LAN 1. Confirm your input with a click on Set Values. This concludes the configuration of the access point. Now I will show you how to configure the client module WUM. Put in the IP address of your client module, accept the security pop-up and put in your username and password. Navigate to the category Antennas and Power and put in the type of antennas used as well as their load impedance. Confirm your input with a click on Set Values. Then navigate to the tab Client, locate the box SSID and name it Siemens Wireless Network. Activate the checkbox Enabled and confirm your input with a click on Set Values. Next, move to the tab Basic, choose the correct country code and activate the checkbox enabled for Wireless LAN 1. Confirm your input with another click on Set Values. Afterwards, you can remove the industry Ethernet cable between client module and switch to prevent a network loop. This concludes the setup of access point and client module. The R1 LED of the client module should now continuously flash green or alternate between green and yellow. You will also find the client module in the client list of the access point. The list is available under the category Information Wireless LAN. If you followed all the instructions, the connection between the access point and client should be a so-called open system. And this means every client can connect without verification. Therefore, I will show you how to secure your wireless LAN connection. Open the web portal of the client and navigate to the category Security WLAN. At the tab Basic, choose the authentication type WPA3 and enter a secure key. Confirm your input with another click on Set Values. The connection between client and access point now breaks off because the parameters no longer match. Now we do the same for the access point.
you will find the necessary settings in the category Security, WLAN and the tab Basic. Select the authentication type WPA3 and enter your key again. Confirm your input with another click on Set Values. Afterwards, the client will connect to the access point again. A successful connection will be signaled by a glowing LED. For a secure and stable operation of the network, you will need to implement further security measures. The steps required for this, as well as other useful adjustments such as the signal strength or permitted channel usage, will be explained in a different tutorial. For more information about Industrial Wireless LAN, check out our website at siemens.com slash IWLAN.